Hey everybody, just back here with another video. So, I mean, Pierre Polyev, he's just, he's on the attack once again here. And um, this time he's going after, well, once again, I should say, that he's going after the drug dens. So what he says here is one of Justin Trudeau's drug dens wants to share with you a beautiful chunk of fentanyl. Beautiful was in quotes, of course, as this dangerous hard drug destroys the lives of tens of thousands of Canadians. Shut down these wacko drug dens, ban hard drugs, fund treatment and recovery to bring our loved ones home drug free. And then he posted the actual picture that was shown here. I'm probably going to have to submit a different rating for this YouTube video because I'm sure people are going to find this offensive. But apparently this right here is a chunk of fentanyl. And then when you go down here, it says, it looks like this is from one of the employees. This is a beautiful chunk of of fentanyl used today by one of our clients. We thank them for letting us snap a pick and share. They're just giving people fentanyl. I don't know that many people who have ever used fentanyl, but I know people who have passed away from it. Okay, it's very, very dangerous, and it doesn't need that much. You don't need that much in your system for it to kill you. And not only are they giving, giving it to people, they're proud of it. Now, sorry if I sound like a broken record, but let me ask you a question. Would a stupid person do this? Like, is this just a stupid policy? Or would an evil person do something like this? Because I got to say again, I don't think a stupid person would. I don't think this is just stupidity. This is, oh, great, we can get them hooked on drugs now. Then they're going to need other drugs to eventually get off of those drugs. And guess who's making the money? Big Pharma. So if you're in bed with Big Pharma, this kind of program makes sense, right? That's not stupidity. That's evil. We all know it. We all see this stuff happening. And we all see the, tr the fact that Trudeau wants to bring this to Ontario. He wants to bring it to Quebec. He wants to bring it everywhere. Not because it's good for you. Don't believe anything that guy says. It's not good for you. Or it doesn't help you with your addiction. They're, I guess they're not saying it's like healthy for you, but they're saying it, it'll you know, help with addictions. This is a safer way to do it. it. It's it's not. Clearly, it's not. Overdoses are going up. Now, thankfully, the one good thing I can say about Doug Ford is he's actually fighting Trudeau on that. He's like, I'll do everything in my power to keep this safe supply act from coming to Ontario because he, like everyone else, with just a little bit of common sense, you don't even have to have a lot of common sense, just a little bit. Just, just just, a little bit of common sense and think. And if you can't do that, read the stats from British Columbia. They're not good, I promise you. Homelessness is up. Drug overdose is up. This isn't helping. But they want to keep pushing it out there. You know, say what you want about Pierre Polyev, but I mean, you know, he's, he's at least saying the right things. Again, this is an easy one for him. And like I've said before, you know, he can't just come in like a lot of people who are like populists, and I understand this type of thinking, you know, they think that Pierre Polyev is corrupt and that he's just going to be like Trudeau. But if that's the case, he's gone in four years. His job as a politician from his perspective is to stay in office as long as possible. He's not going to do that unless he bans things like this, cuts the carbon tax, et cetera, et cetera. And things like cutting the carbon tax and getting rid of the Safe Supply Act and, you know, forcing, say, harder uh, crimes on you know especially sorry um, harsher punishments on people who commit violent crimes those are things he can do pretty quickly i'm pretty sure in fact i think some of those things he can do on day one so if he gets in office and after the first you know whatever two months all these three things are gone that's a big win for him which means he is better than trudeau i understand this whole oh he's a globalist just like trudeau they're the uniparty hey i i got plenty of quips with conservatives and liberals as you guys know but if he can get rid of the the carbon tax and especially this stupid safe supply act, I think a lot of people would like that. His approval rating would probably go up. And then a lot of people might even say, oh, OK, maybe he's not going to be great, but he's got at least better than Trudeau. Because let's be honest, that's why people are voting for Pierre Polyev, right? It's not necessarily because they like him so much. It's just Trudeau's got to go. In fact, if you go here over to Abacus, I think it's Abacus who actually shows this. They'll show preferred, sorry, preferred prime minister and also approval rating. Yeah, so, okay, well, even right here, right? So you got impression rating. Only 42% of people have a positive impression on them. That's not great, right? It's not 
as bad as <laughs> well if you want to see a bad a bad number impression of justin trudeau negative 58 percent. so he's not as bad as trudeau he just needs to make sure his policies aren't either he needs to keep up with that he needs to keep his promises and get rid of this fentanyl crap that's coming in and poisoning people enough's enough there's been a way big there's been way big enough of a sample size to know that this this policy is just hurting people and every day he doesn't get rid of it just proves how evil justin trudeau is so let me know what you guys think do you guys think that the safe supply act should be scrapped or do you think they should keep going do you think they should expand it let me know what you guys think i always enjoy uh reading your comments please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as it really helps grow the channel thanks so much for watching guys and i hope you have a great day